It's nice outside. Come hang out with me. You know what? It is nice outside. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go hang out with her. See ya. Maybe I'll just cut all up here. Hello everybody, it is I, Brian Suffy, and today I'll be reviewing the very highly anticipated film, Godzilla. This film is directed by Gareth Edwards and stars Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth Wilson, Brian Cranston, David Strahan, and Kent Watanabe. Without revealing too much of the plot, Brian Cranston plays this scientist, Aaron Taylor Johnson plays his son, and Ken Watanabe plays his other scientist, and they team up together, and they realize that there's something going on, something's not right, and really, Godzilla, look... I'm just going to go into right now. I was excited for this movie simply because of Godzilla. It's Godzilla, for goodness sakes. Godzilla. <laughs> the last Godzilla attempt was, of course, the masterpiece known as 1998's Godzilla. They're taking over Madison Square Garden. And everyone was excited for this movie because it looked like it was actually going to be a disaster movie of what would happen if Godzilla was coming to destroy our world. This movie does it perfectly well. This movie, in my opinion, was awesome. I really, really enjoyed this movie a lot. There are so many good things about this movie. I couldn't have been more happier. I was so impressed. I am so happy. Thank you, Gareth Edwards. Thank you. The movie is directed very well. It's very fast-paced. It's so well shot. Great camera work. Great visuals. The visuals in this movie are incredible. Some of the best I've seen in recent years. The score by Alexander Desplas is so, so good. Oh my god, his score is awesome. But let's face it, we have to talk about Godzilla first of all. Before I get into the acting, I'm talking about Godzilla. Okay, when they show Godzilla for the first time, like the first full Godzilla creature, I almost cried. I'm not even kidding right now because the thing is, the Godzilla that we needed was in this movie. The way that Godzilla looked was incredible. Like I said before, the visuals are so, so good. And the other monsters, also well done. You don't see Godzilla for most of the movie. You see him for about 20 minutes tops. When he comes for the final, like, fight, it's incredible. Now let's get to the acting. Brian Cranston was fantastic. There's nothing else you could say. It's Brian Cranston. He was on this incredible show, and... He changed his whole career, and this movie, he was outstanding. The problem with him was that he wasn't in the movie as much as I wanted him to be. And that's a shame, because he's freaking Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston! Aaron Taylor Johnson, I like the guy a lot, okay? I think he's a good actor. I think he was really good. Yes, he wasn't the best in the movie. Yes, he wasn't very emotional, but that's the thing. He was in the middle of a war, and he was trying to save the world. He didn't have to show emotion, okay? He was feeling very terrified, but he didn't have to show, like, Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he did fine, okay? He did good, okay? I like him a lot. He did good. Elizabeth Olsen was really good. First, she's adorable as shit. She's so cute. Ken Watanabe's always good. If you've seen Batman Begins, if you've seen Inception, if you've seen Letters from Iwo Jima, then you know he's awesome. Oh yeah, Last Samurai, by the way. Last Samurai. David Strahan, also very good. Every actor was very good in the movie, and it did perfectly fine. The actor in this movie was pretty much perfect. Mainly Brian Cranston. He was the best one in the movie. My problems with the movie, um, people have been saying that Godzilla was teased too much, and that is true, but you know what, I didn't mind it sometimes. There were times when I'm like, eh, okay, can we just see him? But, overall, I really liked how they teased us, they set us up. This is a great disaster movie, by the way. Don't go into this movie thinking that Godzilla is going to be fighting nearly the entire film. It's not Pacific Rim, okay? I mean, sure, you would like to see Godzilla more, but it was still a very good movie, and I really enjoyed it for the most part. Overall, if you were very disappointed with the Matthew Broderick film, you're going to really like this movie. There might be some people out there who don't like this movie, but hey, it's your opinion. You could say whatever you want about the movie. I can't change your opinion. So I'm giving this film an A-. minus. So guys, tell me down below, what did you think of Godzilla? What's your favorite Godzilla movie? Mine is probably the, the original one. That's probably my favorite one. Even though I really like this one as well. Thank you all for watching my video and see you soon.